Hey there, LT Gamers, welcome back to the channel, your ultimate destination for all your gaming needs. My name is Tom, and I'm thrilled to have you join me today as we step into the golden age of modding from Mountain Blade Bannerlord. In this video, we're going to uncover the top 10 must have mods that will revolutionize your Bannerlord experience. But that's not all. I want to make sure that these are easily accessible uh, to you all, so the mods we'll be showcasing today are all available on the Steam Workshop, making them super easy to install. Now, you might be wondering what makes this the golden age for modding in Bannerlord. Well, my friends, talented modders from all corners of the gaming community have been pouring their creativity into making Bannerlord an even more immersive and captivating experience. But there is definitely two camps of different mods that are emerging, ones which are total conversions and ones which are kind of more content and depth variety. And in this video, we've carefully handpicked for this list the ones that enhance the gameplay but also stay true to the core essence of the vanilla experience. So we want to ensure you can enjoy the benefits of the modding without sacrificing the charm and authenticity of the original game. So if you're a seasoned veteran who has conquered countless battles or a fresh-faced adventurer stepping into the world of Calradia for the first time, these mods will elevate your gameplay and bring new life to your Bannerlord journey. For this list, I've tried to pick mods which still have active development ongoing, but you never know what's going to happen in the future, so please take note of that. And also some might not be compatible with each other as well, so that will be up for you to experiment and tinker with. Before we get started, please make sure to drop us a subscription if you want more Bannerlord content, hit us a like if you think we've done well and deserve it, and of course comment your thoughts, let us know what mods you have your eye on as well. Let's jump into the list. Let's kick off the list with the game-changing Diplomacy mod. It enhances your Bannerlore campaign and sandbox experiences while maintaining the vanilla gameplay. Diplomacy introduces balanced fun and creative options for characters to have a real impact on the world. With Diplomacy mod, you will experience a more believable and interactive world within Bannerlord. Imagine sending messages to establish direct communications and coordinate strategies with other lords, forging powerful alliances with clans or factions, and shaping the overall political landscape of Calradia. Secure peace and stability through non-aggression packs, you can avoid unnecessary conflicts with this, reward loyal clans by granting them territories within your kingdom, fostering overall your alliances and trust. You can also claim fiefs that led, you've led the assault on, and this really adds a sense of fairness and satisfaction to your conquests. Diplomacy enhances the user interface, providing a streamlined and intuitive experience. I would say this is a must-have when you're playing the vanilla gameplay, as overall the diplomacy is a little bit lacking. So check this one out for sure. Next up, we have the exciting More Arenas mod. If you love, like I do in the beginning of the game, participating in tournaments to earn renown and equipment, this mod is a must-have. It brings a much needed variety to the arena experience, adding new tournament locations for each culture in Calradia. More Arenas recognizes the limitation of having a single faction for tournaments in each culture and expands upon it. With a total of 10 new arena maps, this mod ensures that every culture has unique arenas. Say goodbye to the mon monotony of the vanilla arenas. These new arenas are strategically distributed throughout the map, offering engaging and visually captivating environments for your battles. They go beyond the standard open and flat spaces, adding complexity and interest to fights. Next up on the list is Zorbarax's Legacy Mod Pack, which is essentially a big collection of mods that adds a huge amount of variety and enhancements to your Bannerlord gameplay. We have everything from the Banks of Calradia, which introduce banks to towns, allowing you to maintain balances, take out loans, earn passive income, to the Deadly Combat mod, which makes combat more lethal and hits to vital party parts causing instant death or bleed outs. You have Deadly Horse Charge, Friendly Fire, the Honest Work mod, which allows you to earn money through honest labor. There is a lot to unpack in this one, and I think it is a must have whenever I do a vanilla gameplay. Um, and I can highly recommend all of the mods and if you want to know all of them, have a look at the description and click through the nine mods I believe that are included there. Get ready to unleash your inner cunning with the Forbury mod. Forbury is a French word that can be translated in many ways. 
but in the context of this, it represents cunning and cleverness. With this mod, you'll gain access to a wide variety of features that will enable you to experience new playstyles and dominate the world of Calradia with dirty tactics and schemes. I recently made a video on this one, uh, as I'm a big fan of it, and so whether you want to develop a rogue character or simply employ cunning strategies, Forbury opens up exciting possibilities for your gameplay. The mod introduces a variety of gameplay enhancements that will change the way you approach the game. You can find features that enable you to engage in subterfuge, deception and strategic manipulation to gain the upper hand. So from intricate political schemes to underhanded tactics, this mod is going to allow you to explore alternative paths to success. Now, let's delve into the intriguing possibilities offered by the Agriculture Estate mod. This mod introduces unique gameplay mechanics that allow you to buy land in villages and collect rent for passive income, or utilize captured bandits as slave labor to produce goods for personal use or profitable trade. I really like this mod as it doesn't really disturb the vanilla gameplay too much. It just gives you another element and layer of resource management and economic strategy to add into your game. So a good one to check out if you're not looking to disrupt the balance too much. Now let's dive into the world of castle and settlement management with our next mod, Improved Garrisons. This one aims to enhance the way you handle your thieves by introducing a host of advanced and customizable features to revolutionize your castle and settlement management. You'll gain access to a range of powerful tools to strengthen and protect your properties, including features such as recruitment, garrison training, and guard parties, all with custom AI to defend your territories effectively. One of the key cornerstones of this mod is compatibility, which makes it excellent to include along with other mods as well. And it definitely doesn't upset the game's overall balance and equilibrium. So imagine having more control and options when it comes to fortifying, defending your castles and settlements. You can build formidable armies, train your garrison troops and strategically assign guard parties to protect your most valuable properties. Next up is the Surrender Tweaks mod, and this mod is a small but very cool mod to improve vanilla gameplay. It enhances the realism and strategic depth by introducing a surrender mechanic behavior for Lord parties and settlements. So enemy parties and settlements now have a chance to surrender, offering a lot of gameplay possibilities. Bandit, caravan, and villager parties may offer to join you or pay for safe passage. And with a very high chance of surrender, you will just be able to take them outright as prisoners. Settlement's likelihood to surrender is influenced by their food supply. So it just adds a feature which is, you know, makes a lot of sense when you think about it in the world into the world of Bannerlord. And it takes away that grind of fighting little battles when you have overwhelming odds in your favor and something which just wouldn't happen in anywhere in the real world. And now introducing the Bodyguards mod a real game changer for your combat experience in Bannerlord. With this mod, like you would in a real medieval battle, lords and leaders will have a detachment of guards to defend you during battles, and this adds an extra layer of protection and support. Some key features include a separate group of troops designed to act as your personal guards and they're detached from other formations. Micromanagement-free experience, uh, so your guard troops won't respond to all your normal commands that you're giving out. You can select up to five guards with the ability to disband and recreate your guard detail. And they're available during sieges, both attacking and defending. And you can customize this quite, uh, quite a lot with changing the number of guards, selecting different troops and assigning companions of, as guards as well. This is a huge amount of fun. I really like this one for immersion and just strategic gameplay as well. And uh, it is a no brainer for me in most playthroughs. Let's explore the potential with the next one, which is the Tutelage mod. An incredible addition that allows your party members to learn from the most skilled individuals in your group. No longer will your brother, the realm's best archer, refuse to teach you how to notch an arrow, or your wife, the renowned steward, would hold her knowledge of reading. With Tutelage, everyone in your party can improve their skills through the guidance of the most skilled members. 
The tutelage mod introduces a gradual skill progression system. Each day, every member of your party or other clan members at the settlement you're residing in will gain 10 experience points for each 100 skill points possessed by the most skilled party member. This mod embraces the idea that spending years with a talented group of companions should allow you to pick up a few tricks and a bit of knowledge from each other, so it would only be natural that you'd absorb this expertise from those around you. So this one is everything so from swinging swords, scouting, blacksmithing, and any other skill in the game. The slow and steady progression ensures that everyone benefits from the collective wisdom and experience within your group. Now, LT gamers, let's dive into the last mod on our list, the Realistic Battle Mod. This mod aims to bring a heightened sense of realism to combat, making battles more immersive and strategic. Some key features of this mod include armor values, which are based on experimental data, making armored units more resistant to damage, depending on the type of weapon used against them. Each weapon type has a different effect on armor, adding a, quite a bit of depth and realism to combat mechanics. Units actively defend themselves, with shield bearing units utilizing their shields much more effectively. Projectiles now cause damage based on their kinetic energy, simulating real life physics using experimental data as well. Battles do last significantly longer, so take that into account, but it's a lot more strategic uh, in the decision making and I would say the intensity is a lot higher too. Force charges, couch lances, adhering also to scientific accuracy. AI armies employ a lot more tactics, creating a more dynamic and challenging battle. Spears have received a buff in melee combat compared to vanilla. Arenas also uh, have been revamped, offering a fairer and more rewarding experiences with multiple stages of progress. And also to boot, many towns uh, feature improved defender positions for enhanced defensive gameplay. Overall, just units fight better in formation as well, rather than the chaotic clump that often descends in, uh, in battles. So, realistic battle mod, you're gonna experience combat that closely aligns, or more closely aligns with real life principles and empirical data. I love this one, I really enjoy it. I have it active on almost every playthrough as it does make it a much more engaging experience overall for me. So definitely check this one out as well. And there we have it, LT Gamers, 10 mods to enhance your vanilla gameplay experience with Bannerlord. I use most of these mods on a lot of my playthroughs, so I can't speak to the compatibility of everything, but a lot of them are very compatible and adaptable mods, so I will say that. You can also include a lot of them with total conversion playthroughs as well. Check them out, see what you think, let me know in the comments if I've missed any out. I was going to make an honourable mention section, but the video is probably getting a little bit long at this stage, so let me know in the comments uh, what your honourable mentions would be. Consider dropping us a like if you've got this far, we really appreciate the support, and of course a subscription is always welcome as well. We do a lot of Bannerlord content, but it's also a lot of variety on the channel, so if you like variety in your gaming, this is a place to be. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye now.